Disclaimer. The voices here in this video are not the real voices of these people. So all voices have been AI generated. And viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, today I'm here to show you this incredible park I made called City Park. With six coasters, a metro, many buildings, and more. The park is still unfinished right now though, so what do you have to say for how it looks so far? Okay, so the, this park is more like a city, and not so much like a park, but it looks very good. Hello everyone, we are back, and last time we were playing with Peter Crone. And we beated Peter Crone's ass last time when we had that build battle back on May 17. Hello everyone, it's me, Ben Shapiro, and I joined the President's Group back on May 31 when we were showing the viewers the compilation of Benji Adventures saying, I need a drink last time. So yeah, that's right. We were present videos, well, just a couple, maybe three, but the first one was when they reviewed just one video on my channel, and that's all it was. It wasn't really that much that, that they did. But on May 17, we made the big build battle video, and the final third was just a short little clip at the beginning of the video of Benji of Interesting on a Drink video. So, yeah. All right, so what happened last time in May? I don't remember at all. Like, what build are you talking about? Seriously, Sleepy Joe? Did you forget to take your freaking dementia pills this morning? I'm gonna send my FBI agents to your doorstep if you don't stop talking about my freaking pills. Anyways, we have two more people joined us today and they should be here in a little bit. I wonder who those two people will be, but I do want to walk in that park right now. Hold on before we walk in. The two people just came online, so they will join any second. All right then, so let's go in the park when they join. So yeah, but I wonder who they could be. Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I am doing great today, and hi everyone, it's me, Mike Johnson, and it is great becoming the new Speaker of the House. Oh my goodness, it's the new Speaker of the House, let's go, I love what you're doing. You're gonna make us all proud. What in the world, like, how did I lose to that bitch? I should still be the Speaker of the House because I'm definitely a better Speaker than your ass. Personally, I agree with Kevin McCarthy. He prevented a government shutdown over a month ago. Okay, it's time we explore the park now. I really need to see what he has done here to this city park. Dude, this park is so cool. Give me all the nine-year-olds right now. I want to sniff their hair. Yo, Peter Crone, this park is so big as shit. As a conservative Republican being new house speaker, you should make me be your co-owner of the city park. Okay, let's not focus on the conservatives, co-owners and stuff. We need to focus on what there is to show you guys in this park. So... Yeah, okay, Mike Johnson, don't ask that, please. And no thanks, I'm not interested. Bro, this is a big office building. I wonder which office could be Peter's office. There is a glass elevator here, but it's not made to work, unfortunately. Yeah, so let's just walk up the long stairway up to the top of this office building. Wow, we are very high up. I could do a 360 dive into the ground right now. Shut up, Kevin McCarthy. We would die if we dared to jump off that glass fence, and besides, the view from the top is blowing my mind. Ooh, this is the best view ever. Bro's got a f nuclear reactor up here. Like, what in the world, Peter Crone? Why is this? Shut up, Mike Johnson. This is not a nuclear reactor. This is uh, the me mechanical floor for the entire office building that powers the whole building for the lights. The pipes is what does all the jobs for that. So, yeah. Anyways, we are back down now. Let's see what's next coming up here. Looks like the entrance to the flying coaster four seats across which is as green as Kevin McCarthy's conservative guards. You better shut up right now, orange clown. I was a great speaker of the house. Dude, look at this. It's some handsome Minecraft skin statues inside of Roblox. Like, how is this possible? This is so nice. The experts like me never reveal their secrets. Dude, what a huge metro station, and it even has a realistic elevator, which is a little too big, though. Where is the trains, though? Like, it looks like it is currently abandoned. Joe, Peter just explained this a few minutes ago. The park is unfinished, so the trains won't operate for right now. Dang, what a long pathway up here. This is so crazy. Dude, what in the actual f Peter built the World Trade Center Twin Towers, but that's gonna remind the American people of the day. 9-11. We are going inside the Twin Towers right now, though, and it looks like another coaster entrance is here. Looks like it's the water coaster, pretty much, but it's a wooden-themed station for some reason. And I wonder why Peter would do that design in a city park. That's just what I felt like doing for the station for that coaster. But let's go check out something else now. Wow, what a very nice big food and drink plaza covered in full of glass. Yeah, it's very nice. Anyways, let's move on. All right, everyone, so I'm going to ride my coaster. I'm going to ride one of my coasters now. So 
Go ahead and watch me ride the coaster. Okay, it's going to be a nice time watching you scream as loud as Donald's mom last night. <laughs> that was a funny roast, Sleepy Joe. Oh, yes, it was, dude. You got to admit it, Donald. Joe Biden has a good point. Shut up right now, you stupid bitches. Whatever, I don't care. Let's just watch Peter ride the launch coaster. Okay, so the coaster just launched into space. So this coaster seems to be the fastest coaster in the city park, of course. Yeah, I know Mike Johnson. That is a very fast coaster. Oh, yes, this is so fun! Okay, let's move on to the next thing that Peter will show us. That's a nice detailed catwalk for this wing coaster. And these two tall buildings are so cool and they are realistically detailed. All right, guys, so it's going to the tallest tower in the entire city park. So it's called Thyman 0808 headquarters. And this is just a very big open room with nothing just like Ben Shapiro's bank account. Shut the f up, Donald. Let's say hypothetically you went bankrupt because of the amount of times you got Big Macs. Anyways, those are two nice elevators inside here. Dude, who is this kid called TBM with us right now? TBM is one of my biggest friends and he is the co-owner of my city park. Bro, Peter has got the one and only real Thymon statue, and he has a cylinder covering it up to protect it at all costs. Okay, so we are coming up to this detailed building here, and it looks interesting inside it. Wow, what a nice open room with a spin coaster inside, and those lights are custom and so interesting. I'm going to send my FBI agents to check this out. Okay, let's just watch Peter's screen for the rest of this tour around the city park. Okay, so we're back to where we were now, and so now we're going to go into the gift shop. It looks like Peter and TBM together being cashiers at this place. Dang, that's a nice carousel. It's covered in so much glass, making it indoors. There is a small drop tower ride here, but I feel like riding a very big drop tower right now. All right, let's get the f over there to Thyman headquarters right now to ride the most intense drop ride in this city park. Oh no, it looks so tall. I'm so scared to ride this drop tower ride, I don't want to go on it. Come on, Joe, it's not real life. We are just riding it inside Roblox right now. All right, everyone, buckle your seats. This will be a very intense ride. It'll be a very intense drop into the ground. Get ready. Wow, this thing will take so long to get all the way up there, which is as tall as Mike Johnson's big house speaker hammer at the desk. You better shut up with those jokes right now or I will send my conservative agents after you. Anyways, it looks like TBM decided to ride the drop tower with us and Peter, since Peter and TBM are very close as friends, isn't that so nice? All right, guys. We are at the top now. Get ready for the ultimate drop of your lifetime. Uh, we are so high, please don't drop. Come on, it will be fine. It's not like a falling tower collapsing down to the fucking ground. I see two floors at the top here. It looks like the Giovanni's restaurant and observatory deck. All right, everyone, get ready, get ready. It's about to drop, it's about to drop. Get ready to scream, three, two, one. Uh, 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 what in the freaking world? That was so scary, I did not expect that. I know, what a drop that was. Yeah, that was the craziest drop ever. It felt like the whole tower just collapsed. Yeah, well anyways, let's continue the city park tour and it looks like another Giovanni's here. Wow, so detailed, let's go. And that is a very, very nice kitchen where I might call Gordon Ramsay to cook the best meals for Peter's Park. Okay, let's go somewhere else now. Looks like another metro station for the metro system of the city park. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here, and it's underground this time. Oh yes, it looks like I just found the trains for the metro system. Oh wow, that tunnel is so cool and detailed as and It's also as blue as Obama's wife, Michelle. Okay, let's stop with those jokes, please, and dang, TBM is so black. It looks like another station, but it looks like it's under construction right now. Let's just walk out of the metro tunnels by going through this station that we found. I see the Twin Towers again. It looks like we are back to where we were a few minutes ago. Dang, Peter also made the Freedom Tower as well. Hold on, everyone. We went onto the tracks. We're gonna get run over any second. Oh no. I think I see a train coming. Ah! Peter tried to get on top of one of the Minecraft statue's head. Okay, I will, Kevin McCarthy. Yay, we are jumping on the Blue Boy statue. Let's go. Wow, that tower looks like the CN Tower in Toronto. Whoa, that tower has a very interesting shape to it. It's very modern and surrounded by the wing coaster track. Nice, we are on the roof, and it looks like the tower has two smoke exhausts. Speaking of the wing coaster, it drops down now. Yes, it's time to buckle your seatbelts right now. Ah! Man, even I am more scared. Who would have known Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, was scared from just to dive? 
I know, Sleepy Joe, how could Mike be scared? It's just a coaster in a game. Yeah, I know. How can Mike be scared? It's just a coaster in a game. Roblox Theme Park Tycoon 2. Anyways, let's just go um, towards something else now in this park. Okay, so it looks like we are coming up to this intense double swing ride here. Okay, let's go swing ourselves on the ride right now. Ah, uh, this swing is so fast. I don't think it should be this fast. What happened? Wow, what a noise lobby. What is this building? And there is two nice detailed elevators here as well. This building is a condo for people to live in, like an apartment building. Okay, let's go ahead to another building so we can see what the purpose is. There doesn't seem to be any elevators in this building, but it's still a nice interior with all the stairs. According to my conservative teleprompters, they are no support columns in this building. So the building in real life would collapse like Kevin McCarthy's job when he was Speaker of the House. Shut up right now, Mike the Nerd. I am better than you at being House Speaker. Hey guys, this is a nice L-shaped building here and it has an elevator with glass doors. Let's go. Let's say hypothetically, the building danced like Barack Obama. <laughs> Good one. Yo, that's a realistic cool bathroom right there. You know, guys, we have another building here that I'm going to show you, all right? It's pretty small, of course, but it's like a mini apartment with a couple metal detectors, so, yeah. Okay, guys, it seems we are going underground into a tunnel by road, but we are running on it, not driving on it. Whoa! How did Peter add moving cars like that is just so nice for the park, making it look like the park is already done and is being checked out by the public. And that is a massive underground parking lot right there for all the crowds to park when coming to the city park. There is three elevators here and it's that amount, I guess, because of how many people go in and out every hour since it will get so busy here when it's done. Let's go up the emergency stairs. Yes, let's go back to the entrance where we started. Wait, hold on, let's get in the car right here to see what it's like having a nice car ride through the city park. Okay, right, so now we're gonna have a conversation since the video is about to be over and TBM is asking about the build battle. We're gonna have another one eventually. Okay, so we won the build battle last time with Peter Crone in May 17th last time, though. We can beat TBM so easily. Come on, guys, we are gonna beat him. I mean, we are going against Peter again, though, so I guess it will be three people against each other, but it's just for fun. No need to take it too seriously. Wow, look at TBM thinking he is the best at everything. Come on, TBM, you may not have a chance, but I guess we will see. <laughs> Whatever this build battle is just for fun, but it still will be very intense, though, right, guys? Oh, yes, it will. This will be an intense build battle. It's just for fun, though. Remember that. Yeah, it's going to be great, but this video is about to be over, so we got to go soon. Before we go, though, listen to this fun fact about building physics in the city park of the day for you. What? 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 According to the physics of building materials, water, electricity, power rates, ways of screwing in parts, and strength of a building's foundation, some building structural designs vary from building to building nerd across alert, the entire alert, world. Alert, alert. And the important park is, let's say, hypothetically, a biddling collapsed because the foundation was too weak, or the steel of the supports sagging and melting, which pulls the support columns inward, causing the fatal collapse of the building, which exactly happened on 9-11, when the World Trade Center Twin Towers collapsed due to American Airlines Flight 11, oh crashing into God. the North Tower at 8.45 a.m. in the no morning. And, and shortly after that, here, United Airlines Flight 175 crashed into the South Tower at 9.02 a.m. in the morning, and the towers collapsed like a house of cards because of the support column design, where they had many support columns at the sides, and the only ones inside were at the center, where it was a gap of no supports, and it was because of the jet fuel burning all the steel, making it sag and melt, causing the part of the tower on top of the crash site fall into itself, making the whole tower collapse but they fixed the problem a few years later when they built the Freedom Tower because due to the core support design, it was a big pillar inside. Hold the building up and that was a better and stronger design since the material on, and its shields are we way stronger. So now, for example, the Burj Khalifa right is the tallest tower in the world, but how does it stand and never fall? Well, it's because of the strong foundation underground where the support columns supporting the whole tower will resist the load of the tower so it will stay strong and keep it in place. And the inside core of the Burj Khalifa has a strong concrete tower going all the way up, but it will bend easily, causing the tower to fail. But inside the concrete are little steel wires that absorb the bending tension from the strong winds. And speaking of the, of the strong winds, Peter's the interesting shape voice, of the Burj Khalifa the confuses right the wind due to a asymmetrical design. So if it was a symmetrical design for when the wind passes through the building, it can lead to a dangerous fluid mechanics phenomenon called oh vortex shedding. 
and with the way the wind dances, what it will create a nerd. fluctuating force, causing the Burj Khalifa to violently osculate, and the oscillating will keep increasing, causing the Burj Khalifa to fail completely. So that's Shapiro. the physics of designing buildings like the ones in the city park right Peter now. has built. So what do you all have to say about my awesome facts I talking about? Ben Shapiro, that was the worst nerd speech I heard in my entire life. That was torture. That was a learning experience, though, but we did not need that nerd talk explaining about physics. Yeah, I know everyone that is what we already learned. Like, what on earth was that? Yeah, okay, so that, oh my gosh, I got traumatized from that long nerd talk. Dude, that was so long. Dude, we gotta end the video. Like, this, this is going too far. I think that's good. Anyways, that will be the end of the video, so, yeah, that will be the end of today's video. Thank you for checking out my city park. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Goodbye. All right. I'm going to get off now so I can have a nice dinner with Michelle. Okay, I'm going to get off to go have some bro time with my guards. Okay, bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.